Hello, my name is Pavel and today I'm going to try convince you to not check movie ratings before you watch a movie or a TV show or something along those lines. Basically, I think I have like three main points, but realistically there's going to be a lot of overlap between all the points, so I'll try and make it as coherent and structured as possible, but if you know me, that is definitely not going to happen. So if you're anything like me, before you go to watch a movie, you always check up the ratings for it online. So you check the IMDb or Rotten Tomatoes or whatever the numbers come up and you're like, hmm, this only got a 5.5 and a 60%. I don't really know if this is worth my time because this sounds average. And in the last few months, I've basically discovered that this is a really, really bad thing. And you're probably watching this like, yeah, no shit, Pavel, this is a bad thing. But this has only clicked in my head. And I thought maybe if it's only clicked in my head, maybe there's somebody that's watching this that's in the exact same position as me. So let me try to convince you to maybe not check movie ratings. So the first point I have is, you need to watch bad movies to know what a good movie is. You'll not know why a movie is good if everything is quote unquote good. And then everything that's not a classic or has a high rating will be considered bad. And movies that aren't perfect can be amazing to you and also not get 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. Therefore, sometimes the less you know, the better. A movie with like 40% on Rotten Tomatoes and like a 5.5 score on IMDb can be one of your favorite movies ever. But then personally for me, the movie A Cure for Wellness, I know it wasn't amazing, but it did not, I feel like it did not deserve the ratings that it got. Like I think it got like a five point something and I quite enjoy that movie. So whenever I think of that, I either try to form my own opinion or I see like numbers in my head and I don't think that's a healthy approach to watching movies. And then there's also the movie Kajillionaire, which didn't get amazing scores either, but I thought the movie was fucking amazing. And I always feel like I have an internal conflict with myself when I'm kind of like doubting my own opinions, but I think that's something I'm gonna get to in just one moment. And there's such a difference between IMDb and Rotten Tomato ratings. Like I know that there is a reason for this and I'm not trying to argue that it's stupid that they have different ratings and stuff like that. But whenever you look up a movie, and you see that something got quite a low score on IMDb, for example, and then quite a high score on Rotten Tomatoes, I feel like just mentally, your brain does not know what to believe. You're like, okay, do I believe the 95% or do I believe the 4.9? What do I do? And I feel like when you have such an internal struggle to actually differentiate which review is the right one, you don't know which one to listen to. So yes, you should go formulate your own opinion, but that's easier said than done. Sometimes I've watched a movie and I've been like, okay, I quite like that and I was like mm, I do not understand why this got such a high score and it just made me feel a little bit confused about myself and about my own opinions. Your brain sees numbers and one says 3.5 and the other says 97% like which one do you believe? For example, Detain. It got quite a low rating on IMDb and it got a quite a high score on Rotten Tomatoes. Like I understand don't get me wrong, I understand why that happens. And I feel like this would just simply confuse a person. Like the power of the dog only has a 6.9 on IMDb. Like I thought the movie Spree was extremely interesting and extremely unique. And I fucking loved it. And then whenever I checked up the score after the movie, it got a 5.9 and I was like, do I just misread movies? Do I just not understand movies? I feel like I've seen so many, but what am I doing wrong? I don't get it. Therefore, this brings me to my second point. If it's not a rating that you expected, then, then you not understand why it goes against your personal rating. Like why is something rated quite bad and you loved it? And then you might feel bad for really liking the movie and then therefore convince yourself that a movie you really loved sucked. And I don't think that's fair. I feel like if you check up a movie's rating beforehand, you'll present yourself with expectations and you won't understand why those expectations are set if you don't form your own personal opinion. And you therefore won't enjoy it as much. You'll spend your time panicking and be like, okay, so to get up to an 8.5, this happened and this happened and this happened. Like, I think if you really love a movie, you'll know that it's great and you'll personally know and it doesn't matter what other people have rated it. And this brings me to my final point, which is that you'll potentially reject some of your favorite movies and influential movies of all time. Like, for example, I fucking loved the movie VHS found footage horror got awful ratings, but if I never watched VHS when I was like 18 or 17 or something like that, I would have never found that kind of like subgenre that I fucking fell in love with. The sequels and all that sucked. 
don't get me wrong, but I still watched them and I still was inspired by them. I still fell in love with them. And I don't think we ever checked up the ratings for those movies. And I feel like if I did check up scores for that film, I probably wouldn't have watched it and I would have never known about that movie. And you also kind of come across as a little snobby because this is me. Every single time we would be watching me, I'd be like, right, let's check this up. And they're like, mm, no, this rating isn't amazing. I think we're going to pass it. And yes, please don't get me wrong, reviews and everything along those lines definitely has a role, an extremely important role in this scene. So I'm not disregarding it, I'm not being like, don't check ratings, they suck. I just feel like if you're kind of like a an impressionable person, a person that, if you're a person that finds it difficult to form their own opinions, I would suggest not checking up movie reviews and not checking up scores because I feel like your own opinion will be swayed and you won't be able to formulate your own. And as I've said earlier in this video, to be able to formulate your own opinion, you have to watch bad movies. You have to watch a lot of movies. You have to just keep watching and slowly by maybe writing them down or discussing them or even internally thinking about them, you'll, able, you'll be able to form a review and an opinion on something and you'll go with your own belief and not just cling on to what other people have said. Like I remember watching like Chris Stuckman and be like, okay, he loved this film and I didn't love it. But when, if someone asks me what I thought about the movie, I'm just gonna basically steal his point to come across as if I do know what I'm saying. And I don't think that's right. I feel like you're putting a lot of pressure on yourself to watch a movie, to understand a movie, and you're just taking the enjoyment out of film. And yes, everything I'm saying contradicts everything that I've said before, because I used to always check ratings, but I'm really, really trying not to do that because I feel like it's bad for my mental health and I feel like it doesn't help me learn. And what I want to do with movies is watch them, yes, but I also wanna learn how to understand them a little bit better. And I want to be able to form my own opinions and have a discussion and argue why this was really good and why I disagree with this rating and stuff like that. It's like if someone tells you this movie sucks, why would you listen to them? Like, form your own opinion. I remember being in school and somebody telling me that Lady Bird was a shit movie. And I was like, oh great, I've been looking forward to watching this. I guess it's bad. I just, I guess it sucks. And I went to watch Lady Bird and I think I've watched it five times since. It makes me cry. It's one of my favorite movies ever. So why would you listen to somebody else when you can listen to your own opinion? So watch a movie and if you feel like you're not influenced by other people's opinions, then check it up after. And if you are influenced by other people's opinions, then it's okay, maybe it's best not to check out ratings. This is what I've been trying for a few months. I feel like it really works for me. Like even on Twitter, there's a lot of like journalists and stuff like that that I follow and movie reviewers that I really love. And I've just been like, you know what? I respect you, but I'm just gonna pass on the reviews for a few months to see how my own personal development in understanding movies and reviewing them and forming my own opinion goes. Well, I'm trying to do that. So try not let ratings influence your love for movies. Embrace the subjectivity and just love whatever you love and um, form your own opinions and all of that. You know, you know, just form, do, do that, do that. And then fail at it like I do half of the time as well. And once again, I'm not trying to devalue the role of critics and movie journalists and everything like that. They play an amazing and a very important role in all of this. So I don't want this to be the main point of the video. It's just if you're an average movie viewer like myself and you feel like you're easily swayed by opinions, maybe it's best to skip them and see how you function without them, you know? So that's everything I think I have to say for this video. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? I hope I've kind of gotten all the main points across in the best way I could. I would love to hear your opinion, so maybe leave a comment or even message me on Instagram, at Pavel Spam. And yeah, let me hear what you think. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.